This is the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on News Talk 1190 WoWo. And now 92.3 FM. Visit them online at movingindiana.com. This hour will bring you the latest news and home trends in Fort Wayne and all of Indiana. Now, here's Tony and Sam. Good morning. This is the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WoWo and now 92.3 FM. We're on here every Sunday from 10 to 11 talking about the real estate market, current trends, ways to prepare your home for sale, things to look for when you're buying a home, uh, basically just going over everything with real estate transactions in the market. I am Tony Didier from Caldwell Banker Roth Really Graber, where I am the Vice President of Marketing. And alongside me, as always, is Sam Hartman. Good morning, doing, Tony. Doing great. Doing great this morning. Hope everybody had a great week out at Three Rivers Festival. Just a great festival. I hope everyone made it out there. The weather held up perfectly. So Sam is our uh, Director of Career Development, is in charge of uh, making sure that our agents have all the tools they need to give you guys a nice smooth transaction when you're making that biggest deal uh, financially that you make in your lives with with that purchase of your home, unless you have a really nice car and not (laughs) that nice of a house. Today, we're going to have an interview with Jeff Davis from Hallmark Home Mortgage. He's going to phone in and tell us how interest rates are are doing right now, as anyone who's thinking about buying a home would be interested in. We're also going to have Kevin Hunter, president of Windows, Doors, and More, talking about kitchen remodeling, which I think is one of the more entertaining rooms in the house and and to remodel. They say kitchens sell houses, so we'll definitely want to hear what Kevin has to say later. Um, We're going to have Billy Foreman from Hoopy Insurance talk a little bit about home insurance. Also, we're going to go over, as we do every Sunday, the open houses uh, later this afternoon. So you guys, if you're out driving around, can go check out some open houses after church church, see what's out there. Uh, a lot of times it's fun to just go to open houses, even if you're you know, just looking around in the early stages of, of looking for a home. It's never too early to dream. For our first segment today, we're going to talk about some myths of the real estate recovery. It's no secret that we had a little bit of a downturn there, as did uh, the economy and any industry, really. For um, a long while. Yeah. And, you know, the housing market, uh, you know, is usually an indicator of how the economy is going to go since it is such a big financial decision. And it affects so many different industries, you know, lending, insurance, inspectors, builders, materials, um, you know, furniture. Uh, literally, um, almost every business is touched by real estate in some way. Uh, you know, people who work for different businesses have houses usually. So, <laughs> It's definitely a big ec- economic driver, and that's you know why the government's put so much effort into helping the, the housing market recover. Because of the recovery now, and because of all the things that are changing in the market, there's been a lot of myths that are, are going around about it. And, and one of those there's myths... There's been some myths about real estate. Right, right. And we want to help uh, appease some of those today. So, one of those myths was that the market's recovering too quickly. Now that seems like a good problem to have, but you know, tell us a little bit about about that myth there, Tony. Well, you know, national numbers can be different than local numbers obviously, and we've seen numbers such as the average home price has gone up 10% in the last year, um, which seems like it's it's happening too fast. But what you got to remember is home prices in a lot of areas were already down more than that. So it's not like home prices are skyrocketing higher than they've ever been. That's definitely not the case. And a lot of those larger markets with a lot of homes, Phoenix, uh, Las Vegas, San Francisco, got hit the hardest by foreclosures. And their home prices dropped so much that now those places have gone up 10%, but are still just nearing a, a normal level of pricing for them. In Fort Wayne, you know, or South Bend or Elkhart or Warsaw, home prices don't fluctuate as much, and it's it's more stable. And we'll talk a little bit more about local statistics later. So, But you can't always just listen to the national reports about you know, what the market's doing, because some of those markets fluctuate so much more than us and, and have more vacation homes and are more luxury items, whereas in Fort Wayne, a home isn't as much of a luxury item, you know, as something just to have a, a roof over your head. So... Yeah, some of those markets even increase twenty percent. But you know, like you said, the, the it's numbers everyone can, else up. Yeah, the numbers can be a little misleading when you don't look at it in the full picture of what really have they been down over the last six years as well. So um, definitely recovering in those areas uh, all across the board, big jumps. But really compared to where uh, home prices were at prior to the recession and prior to the housing market collapse, you know, we're 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 still in a good spot now. 
Agreed. And, you know, another myth is that investors are driving demand. You know, in Fort Wayne, it's not a bad a bad area to buy a home and flip it or be a property manager and rent out, you know, a second home to someone as, a, as an income property. Um, but really, those are trending downward. 20% of home purchasers last month were investors, whereas a month before it was 22%. So we're trending down. There are still some foreclosed homes on the market. People are still investing, and, and really they're rehabbing homes that were once in terrible shape. So they're actually improving areas, improving neighborhoods, improving homes. You know, a home I had was um, one that was clearly flipped and, you know, I don't want to see what kind of shape it was in before. <laughs> but now it's a beautiful home and, you know, it's, it's improving my neighborhood. It's improving, you know, how my cul-de-sac looks. So mm-hmm. investors are still buying homes, but it's not driving all the demand. Yeah, it drives, it, dr- it drives some of that demand, but it's also kind of nice because a lot of new home buyers, a lot of home buyers don't want to deal with the hassle of you know, fixing up those foreclosed homes. You know, it's it's something that looks attractive to get that good deal on a foreclosed home, which... Yeah, let the investor do it for you. Exactly, let them fix exactly, the home for yeah, you. exactly. Um, and also, 36% of home buyers right now are first-time home buyers, and 43% are buying their second or third or, or fourth home, uh, move up or move down buyers uh, to get a home that's suiting their current needs. Uh, another myth is that sellers are stuck and what we mean by that is you owe mo- more on your house than what you could sell it for. So really, you can't afford to move. you got to stay where you're at, even if you want to make a move. But odds are, if you owe more on your house uh, than what it's worth, you haven't lived there for that long. And really, you shouldn't buy a house unless you're planning on being there for a minimum of three years, I would say, to get you know your equity back out of the house. So... You know, one thing that happened with the the housing market is people, you know, trying to overbuy. And I think we've all learned a lesson, you know, from the recovery we're in right now and the recession that we had that you got to buy within your means. And some sellers are stuck. It is true. But home prices have ticked up in our area in northern Indiana. And you might be surprised at, at how well off your home is right now. Yeah, this myth has a little bit of a of another side to it as well. You know, sellers that, you know, who had had previously lost value in their home couldn't sell their home for enough to really you know warrant being able to sell it now the the prices have increased uh they're able to sell their home for a gain or for you know break even at least but they're at a kind of a catch-22 because now that they can sell that home and 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 get out you know above water now they're looking at a difficult market for buyers because the inventory just isn't there for them to get into that next home and get into that next property. So even that if they can for. sell, they're struggling to get a home because the good exactly. ones are getting multiple I offers, you. and you got to try to time up your sale with your purchase, which can be difficult. But mm-hmm. if you have questions about that, it's best to ask your realtor on how to time that up. They do real estate transactions all day long, and uh, the realtors at Caldwell Banker Roth, really Graber, um, are experts on this. They've been in the area doing real estate deals for over forty years, family owned and operated. Go to movingindiana.com to find our realtors and all of our homes for sale. Uh, You can also contact uh, Sam and I with any questions you have right now at sales at movingindiana.com. Feel free to shoot us an email uh, if you have a quick question. And you can also give us ideas for the show on Twitter at movingindiana. Uh, So just tweet at us. Uh, But let's get back to a few more myths before we have Kevin Hunter, president of Windows Doors and More, on the phone with us shortly. And rates are through the roof is another myth when in actuality they're still at record lows. I mean, obviously not the lowest we were at. They've ticked up a little bit, but they're still in the fours. And I bought my home two, three years ago at uh, five and a quarter. And they told me I need to buy now before they go up. And then they continue (laughs) to go down. They're still low. You still have more buying power now than you'll have when they, you know, increase to six or seven and, and they will tick up. So make sure if you're thinking about buying a home, you do it while rates are still low. So you can buy the home that, that you want for the amount of money that you have. You have much more buying power when rates are low and they're still lower than, you know, your uh, grandfather's loans in the 80s that were at 10 <laughs> and 15 percent. And we'll have Jeff Davis on with Hallmark Home Mortgage in a little bit here to, to talk more about what rates are doing right now, but it's still definitely an attractive buyer market for, for getting a competitive interest rate on those loans too. Definitely. And uh, the last myth is that foreclosures are a thing of the past. Um, you know, 
banks have kind of been controlling how the foreclosures come out and they've been kind of trickling them out. Um, we did have kind of an, an abundance of them in the recession, but uh, they're still coming out and you can still get a good deal on a house uh, on a fixer upper. So foreclosures are still coming on the market. They're not a thing of the past and it's still a good opportunity for a first time home buyer or somebody who needs a lot of home, um, you know, for a growing family. Back this week, who's always a great interview, we have Kevin Hunter, president of Windows, Doors and More. Thanks for joining us, Kevin. Good morning. It's good to be with you today. Kevin, a lot of people are wondering what they can do to upgrade their home. Let's talk about the kitchen. If someone is thinking about upgrades, what are some of the things you need to first consider? Well, realistically, we're going to need uh, a, a period of time to uh, work on a plan as far as if the new kitchen is concerned, uh, getting a, a, a better layout than what you perhaps might currently have. And that takes up to a couple weeks of time of, of getting that all figured out and getting drawings done. And then uh, from there, you're talking about from uh, time of order to completion of the project, you're going to need right at uh, six to eight weeks. So realistically, it's not uncommon to start out you know, 90 days and ahead of time. What are some of the most common changes that are happening in kitchens? Well, the most common uh, quick change is, is changing the countertops, whether going to a new laminate or going to granite or another hard surface like Cambria or quartz. That, that's something that's happening a lot right now. And that project doesn't take nearly as long. That's, that's a pretty quick turn. That can be done in approximately six weeks lead time from time of start uh, to the order and to the completion of the project. And then this, but also with that comes typically a tile backsplash that uh, sits down on top of the new surface and just really gives the kitchen a really fresh, updated look. How can someone get some advice or maybe ideas of what they can do to their kitchen? Well, I'll tell you, we can start at the home, but the best way is really taking pictures of the existing kitchen space and then bringing them into our neighborhood showcase and actually looking at those pictures in the show showroom alongside of one of our designers and, and getting ideas and, uh, and, and starting that way. It, that, that seems to be the best way to get started. Bring a cabinet door or a drawer box with you. That way you can go and see the ways that the wood species would look up against the new t types of countertops that are available. Where is your showcase located? Stop by our neighborhood showcase at 1121 West Washington Center Road or just stop out and, or set up an appointment in the store with one of our designers. And also we will come to the house as well. If, they, if, if you prefer to get started that way, we can certainly come to the home. Or if they have questions first, what's your number? 422-7077. Kevin Hunter, president of Windows, Doors, and More. Thanks for joining us this week, Kevin. Thanks for having me this morning. Kevin is just always a great interview, isn't he? He's just delightful. Speaking of delightful, a delightful website to search for any home for sale in northern Indiana is movingindiana.com. Go to movingindiana.com and see only the homes for sale, unlike some of those other national sites where you get confused as to what's actually available. And then just click request a showing and one of our agents can take you to see that home as soon as possible. So that's movingindiana.com. You can also uh, follow us on Twitter at Moving Indiana. Our Facebook page is Facebook slash Moving Indiana. And if you have any specific real estate questions for us, feel free to email us at sales at Moving Indiana. This is Tony Didier and Sam Hartman from Coldwell Banker Roth Really Graber on the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WoWo and now 92.3 FM. And coming up, we have Billy Foreman from Hoopy Insurance to answer some questions about home insurance. You're listening to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show with Tony and Sam. Visit them online at movingindiana.com. You're listening to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show with Tony and Sam on News Talk 1190 WoWo and now 92.3 FM. We're back on the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WoWo and now 92.3 FM. You can contact us at movingindiana.com or search any home for sale. Back with Sam Hartman, I'm Tony Didier from Caldwell Banker Roth Really Graber, the number one real estate company in northern Indiana. And right now joining us, we have Billy Foreman from Hoopy Insurance to talk a little bit about home insurance. How you doing, Billy? Uh, doing well. Thank you for having me on. 
excited to have you on and answer some questions about the crazy industry of, of home insurance. Sure. I'm sure there's a lot of myths about it or people don't know much about it because hopefully they don't have to use it because that would mean something bad is happening to their house. Does every home need home insurance? Absolutely. Highly recommend it. And regardless, if there is a mortgage on the home, they're going to require it anyway. Okay, so if you buy cash, it's kind of your decision, but obviously if you're going to have a lot of money into your house either way, and it's good to protect your investment. Sure, absolutely, and the whole purpose of insurance is get you back to where you were prior to the loss. Now, Billy, due to personal experience, I know homeowner's insurance covers, say, a tree falling on your house, because uh, <laughs> you held me out with that claim just a year ago. What other things are kind of covered under you know, homeowner's insurance? Is theft? Is fire? Is you know what what types of things can someone expect you know in a catastrophe like that to be covered sure homeowners insurance extremely broad on what it covers of course it's going to cover fire theft vandalism damage from um, falling objects like a um like a tree like you experienced yourself it's probably easier to talk about what's not covered that that'd be okay some of the things excluded from your homeowner's insurance policy is earthquake or another term you'll see when you're looking through your policy is earth movement. Mm-hmm. Now you can't endorse your policy to include that coverage. Does that mean also like a shift that messes with your foundation? Correct. Yep. Okay. And also flood, which is which uh, a lot of people are finding out with all the all the rain that we recently had. The only way you can get flood insurance is through the um, through FEMA the national government so there is no way to endorse your policy to include that coverage and also maintenance issues which is basic <laughs> wear and tear um for example you got a pipe that breaks in your wall the insurance company is going to pay to tear your house apart to get to that pipe and they're going to put your house back together but they're not going to pay for that pipe that broke now what if it's um kind of a human error accident like you leave your stove on and then something catches on fire the majority of homeowners' claims is probably um, human error. Okay. Everything from uh, leaving a candle lit to the stove on to uh, maybe um, forgetting that you left the bat or the water running in the bathtub and it overflows, or even backing into a garage door, which happens. Quite <laughs> <often>. <laughs> I think I've heard of that happening to a friend. Could we possibly get my mother on the line? She <laughs> recently experienced that problem. Now, should people shop around a lot for ho- home insurance, or are rates pretty similar for the same house? And do prices vary, you know, with the size of the house greatly? Uh, there's a number of factors that go into into an insurance rate. I'd always recommend um, shopping it around. The benefit to working with a broker is they can actually do that for you. Brokers work with a uh, number of different companies where they can uh, review your uh, policy on an annual basis. And you're a broker, correct? Uh, correct. Yep. You could do the shopping around for them and saves them the time and you can get them the best rate. Is there something that they should do to like bundle it or, you know, use should they always call the same company they've been using for their car insurance? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's always going to be in your best interest package the home and auto together. The mouth the the uh, multi-policy discount can be a significant savings. And also a lot of companies are now requiring that you have the home and auto combined. And a lot of that has to do with all the weather related losses that the insurance industry has been experiencing. Has there been a lot of changes in the insurance industry recently? Uh, no, not really. Well, some companies, it, it depends. Some companies are now requiring a thousand dollar deductible, minimum deductible. A lot of companies are now requiring that package policy, so the home and auto combined. So Billy, tell me a little bit about escrow and what that means. When I purchased my home, I heard a lot of people using the term escrow, and I really had no idea what sure. what that was, what I was paying for, what that was going towards. Um, luckily, I had someone like you to explain it all, but I heard that term a lot prior to to help with that. So, could you explain that for our listeners and and kind of break that down? With your when you make your mortgage payment every month, a portion of that payment goes through your principal and interest, and the other portion goes towards your escrow. And your escrow is used to pay your um, property taxes and your homeowner's insurance. Usually when you close on a home, they're going to collect the first year up front, so it's going to come out of your closing costs. But then every year the policy renews, they're going to bill your mortgage company and it's going to come from your escrow account. So that's why I've never paid a bill for home insurance? Correct, yep. Because the bank's doing it for me. You know, what sets you and Hoopy Insurance apart from other insurance companies or ways to get insurance? Sure. A little bit about Hoopy Insurance. been around 1981. Our office is uh, located um, on the northeast side of town. Our address is 7011 Stellhorn Road. 
Uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, 46815. We are a multi-line. In the, we can do everything from your, your personal auto, homeowners, um, umbrella, commercial insurance, life insurance, health insurance, disability, boat, motorcycle, four-wheelers, all of your toys, take care of all that for you. Why should people work with Hoopy instead of other insurance companies? I think we do a, a, an excellent job of what we do. You know, insurance company is all about service. We make sure uh, we take very good care of our clients. We're very accessible even after hours. Call our office number. After 5 o'clock, of course, you're going to get the voicemail. But on that voicemail is actually a couple of mercy contact numbers, and those um, numbers actually belong to the owner, Roger Hoopy, and, and his son, Matt Hoopy. So when you call that number, you go straight to the top, and they're always, always available after hours on... And weekends, and I even have a, a phone number that's always forwarded to my cell phone, so I'm always accessible also. Excellent. So when life happens, tragedy happens, you're just phone call away no matter sure. what time of day yep. it is. Because we all know insurance claims don't happen between the hours of 9 and 5. That's great, Billy. One last important question that we have for you, very important to you know concern so many uh, Fort Wayne residents, is sure. the recent movie release of Sharknado. <laughs> uh, we're hearing a lot of uh, scared talk about what if this happens in Fort Wayne, Indiana? Would, would a Sharknado be covered under my insurance you're, policy? You're, of course, referring to a tornado that starts on the water, picks up sharks, and throws them on land at your house? Absolutely. Major <laughs> concern. Yeah, you would know, that be covered? Make sure you are taken care of. No different than that tree falling on your house. <laughs> Really? It's just sharper teeth. <laughs> and take a picture of it and send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you put that on your homepage. <laughs> Speaking of homepage, how do people get in touch with you at Hoopy Insurance if they have questions about insurance? Sure. You can go to our website, www.hoopy-insurance.com, and there's actually a link on there that you can Go ahead and include your um, question and any of your contact information, and we'll be more than happy to get a hold of you. Thanks. That was Billy Foreman, insurance agent at Hoopy Insurance. Thanks for joining us, Billy. Hey, thanks, guys. This is the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WOWO and now 923 FM. Tony Didier along here with Sam Hartman from Coldwell Banker Roth Really Graber, the number one real estate company in northern Indiana. You can visit our website at movingindiana.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at movingindiana, facebook.com slash movingindiana. And if you have any specific questions for us, we'd love to help you out right away. Just email us at sales at movingindiana.com. No question is, is too small. We'd love to help you with any of your real estate needs, and we will be back after the break to discuss the local stats and and how the market's doing here in Northeast Indiana. And we're also going to have Jeff Davis from Hallmark Home Mortgage answer some questions about mortgage rates to help you get, get that financing for your new home. Stay tuned for that and we'll be back right after the break. You're listening to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on News Talk 1190 WOWO and now 92.3 FM. This is the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on News Talk 1190 WOWO and now 92.3 FM. And we're back on the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WOWO and now 92.3 FM. I'm Tony Didier from Coldwell Banker Roth Really Graber along with Sam Hartman, also from Coldwell Banker. We've already had on the show a couple good interviews. Uh, Billy Foreman from Hoopy Insurance, Kevin Hunter from Windows, Doors, and More. And coming up at the end of the segment, we're going to have Jeff, Jeff Davis join us on the phone from Hallmark Home Mortgage to talk about current interest rates. But first, let's uh, take a quick moment to talk about the current market as the latest statistics just came out. The numbers are out for June. It takes about this long to compile all the numbers from the state. So these are the latest numbers just came out this week. Uh, Home prices are still on the rise. Uh, They are up 2% 2% over last year at this time. So steady steady increase on the home prices. Uh, and what we've been seeing is, you know, a lack of inventory lately. Just not a lot of options out there for for homes for sale, but actually uh, new listings are up 3.6% over last month. So just in the last month we've had a lot of new listings come on the market. We're still down a 1% on listings as compared to last year. You know, a good way to see if the market's in balance or not is month supply of inventory. It should be about six months of, of homes to sell before we run out of inventory. And right now we're at 5.6 months. So our inventory is getting up a little bit more towards a normal level. You'll see that home, homes are more desirable because 
interest rates are low, and also there aren't as many homes on the market. So if you put your home on the market, a lot of times people are receiving multiple offers and, and higher offers. And a stat that backs that up is that the percent of original list price received at a sale is up to 93% on average, and obviously that sways huge from the expensive homes to the lower price homes, but on average, if you put your home up for sale, you're going to receive 93% of your list price. That's up a half a percent from last year. So that's just saying that, you know, you're getting better offers for your house if you put it on the market right now because homes are in demand and, and there's just not as much of a supply out there. So although, you know, some of the national statistics, you know, swing a lot, you know, Fort Wayne, uh, Northeast Indiana area stays pretty stable. And uh, But one thing that's definitely a contributing to statistic to the fact that the market is doing well is that closed home sales are up 14% from last year. So that means we've sold 14% more, percent more homes this year in Indiana than we had sold last year. And that's with less listings, too. So, I mean, exactly. That's, so that's... the buyers are still out there. Interest rates are still low. They've gone up a little bit. They're low enough that you should buy now before they go up higher because you have more buying power. Get out there and see those homes when you can and, and put in a good offer because you don't want to get beat out with a multiple offer situation because those are happening right now. And if you've been waiting to sell your home uh, to when it's worth more value, I mean, home prices are up 2% in Allen County and 4% statewide. And uh, that's kind of the number we're seeing nationwide as well, up in like the 5% home price increases. So you're getting more for your home if you sell it this year than if you sold it last year. But if you sold it last year, you probably bought a house at a 3% interest rate. So you're probably doing okay as well. <laughs> So if you're interested in buying or selling, contact us at Coldwell Banker Roth Really Graber. Got some of the best agents in the business, some of the best marketing to sell your home with a virtual YouTube tour on every property, you know, a QR code on every property. You can put a sign writer on your sign that people can text or call for more information on the house. And that notifies your realtor so they can see if they want a showing rather than the old brochure box where people take a flyer and then you have no idea who's taking all your flyers. Maybe they're writing on the back of it and making flyers for other things. Probably I don't know. those dang kids. It's probably the kids. <laughs> so we talked a little bit about interest rates, uh, but we're not professionals on interest rates. We're professionals on buying and selling homes. So right now joining us, we have a professional on mortgages. Uh, on the phone, we have mortgage loan originator from Hallmark Home Mortgage, Jeff Davis. Good morning, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Now, Jeff, we talked about interest rates ticking up today. What's causing that? Yeah, what's happened in the last two months, uh, mortgage rates have moved up, in some cases a percent from where they were. They were at some historical lows where most all products were in the threes for fixed rates, whether it be low threes for, or even in some twos on, on a 15-year and um, you know threes on a 20- and 30-year. Well, those have all moved up because of what is being more positive economic numbers about consumer consumption, how housing is, housing sales, unemployment has gotten better. All those things have caused the markets to react upwardly. With rates going up, has the loan market slowed down? It's interesting because you would think it would slow things down. And there's a natural slowdown at the beginning of July every year anyway because people are off with their kids, people go on vacations. There's a July 4th. Surprisingly, it's it's been... Considering that dynamic, it's been it's been very steady and busy all through July. Houses, if you when you talk to your uh, real estate agents, houses are quickly moving off the market, and there's still talk of a lot, you know a shortage of inventory. So, what's maybe surprising to people is that you would think that an increase in rates would slow the market down when there's a good chance that it actually makes it the houses move faster because it creates a sense of urgency with people. We know what rates are now. We don't know what they will be maybe necessarily a year from now. Is that having any effect on the home buying trends we're seeing? Looking for. Yeah, it, it has a definite effect. Now, the trait, you know, like for every certain amount of increase in rate, it, you know, you might have a person that's looking at a $150,000 house, and because of the increase in rate, maybe that back that down so they have the same payment. Maybe they have to buy a $135,000 house. However, one of the, the dynamics that you have to keep in mind is if they're selling an existing house, those, those houses are selling for more than maybe they were a year ago. So they can sell their existing house for more than they thought maybe they could, and then that allows them to put maybe more down payment down which kind of negates that effect. So with that said, is now still a good time to get a loan? We're still in a very good zone. If we have interest rates in the fours, in fact, one of the things I did for my customers was print off a chart to show them a graph which showed interest rates over the past five years. And we're still in a very low point, almost not the lowest because we're coming off of last year, but the second lowest period in the past five years on mortgage rates. 
as it, as we look at the last five years, and certainly if we go back farther, it's even a bigger change because rates were, you know, we were quoting, it was six, seven, eight, nine, ten. if we go back farther than five years. So it's just a, per, it's almost a perception thing right now than the actual numbers. It sounds worse than it is. Jeff, how can someone reach you at Hallmark Home Mortgage if they have any follow-up questions? The best way to reach me is at 260-433-8140. And then our email, our, our website address is hallmarkhomemortgage.com, and there's a wealth of information on there. People can apply online, which is a very common way that people kind of get the process started to get pre-approved for a loan. Those are the best ways. Thank you very much. That's Jeff Davis, mortgage loan originator from Hallmark Home Mortgage. Thanks, Jeff. We only have one more segment to go on the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WoWo and now 92.3 FM. We're here every Sunday from 10 to 11 talking about the current real estate market and trends and tips uh, for your home. And uh, I'm Tony Didier along with Sam Hartman from Coldwell Banker Roth Riley Graber. And we'll be right back after the break to talk about today's open houses hosted by Coldwell Banker Roth Riley Graber agents. So stay tuned if you're interested in stopping by some houses today and uh, meeting some of our great agents and checking out some houses. You can view all of our open houses at movingindiana.com and just click the open houses button at the top of the page. Or if you're on your smartphone, there's a open house button right there on your screen if you go to movingindiana.com on your phone. Any home that we have an open house on is on there, even in our outlying areas of Angola, Warsaw, South Bend, Elkhart. So if you're listening in, in one of those outside areas, go to our website and check out some of those open houses. But we'll be back right after the break with some of the area open houses. This is the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on News Talk 1190-WOWO and now 92.3 FM. Visit them online at movingindiana.com. You're listening to the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show with Tony and Sam on News Talk 1190-WOWO and now 92.3 FM. This is the Moving Indiana Real Estate Show on 1190 WoWo and now 92.3 FM. Winding down our show today, that's every Sunday from 10 to 11. Tony Didier along with Sam Hartman from Coldwell Banker Roth Ruler Graber Real Estate, the number one real estate company in northern Indiana. You can visit our website at movingindiana.com. And if you go to movingindiana.com and click open houses, you'll see today's open houses coming up this afternoon. But right now, we're going to highlight some of the good ones on the air. So Sam, start us off. Yeah, first one we got today is Marlon French at 10522 River Birch Run. This is in Southwest Fort Wayne. If you're interested in making a move out to Southwest Fort Wayne or currently looking to uh, relocate in that area, uh, this home is kind of located near the Scott and Coventry uh, intersection there. So that's kind of the location you're looking at. It's listed for $320,000, four bedrooms, three full baths, one half bath. Um, just over 2,600 square feet. Very nice looking home. Great curb appeal. Very pretty. Uh, nice neighborhood. So go out and see Marlon French today. 1 to 3 o'clock is what that open house is running. Also from 1 to 3 and Southwest. And we're starting with a couple Southwest homes. So if you're driving around in that area or, or looking in that area, be sure to check all these out if you can. Uh, all these are in similar price range too. As Sue Teasdale is hosting one that's listed for 296 And this is in Bridgewater, which homes are selling fast in Bridgewater. It's a great subdivision. I really like it because all the homes look a little different. You know, they're not so cookie cutter. So um, check out this home in Bridgewater at 2317 Shore Oaks Pass from 1 to 3, hosted by Sue Teasdale. It has four bedrooms, two and a half baths, a three-car garage, uh, just a beautiful home. So if you're out southwest, go to Bridgewater and see Sue Teasdale. Again, another one out southwest put, being put on by Mark Dippold. This is at 2319 Sierra Way in also southwest Fort Wayne. It's actually just recently had a new price reduction at 2849. Uh, again, uh, these first three homes are very similar in style, so get out southwest and check these out if this is something in your in your range. Uh, but it's a four bedroom, three full bath, one half bath with 2,500 square feet, uh, close to schools, quiet neighborhood, uh, cul-de-sac street, uh, large fenced in backyard. Get out there today, one to three o'clock to see Mark Dippold for that open house. 
Also on the same street on Sierra Way, 2207 Sierra, hosted by Dwayne Miller from 2 to 4. So you probably want to see Mark's first from 1 to 3, and then Dwayne's from 2 to 4 on the same street, same price, 284.9. Another th- three car garage home in Desirable Fer- Veracruz Southwest. This home has four bedrooms, two and a half baths. It's a quality built Aspen Bay home with all the luxury finishes you would want to look for with solid wood floors. So, uh, and it also has some brick on the front of the home. So, if you're in the southwest area in Veracruz, check out Dwayne Miller from 2 to 4 at 2207 Sierra Way. Next, we got one up in Goshen listed for 2499, and this is being put on by Chris Morris today, 1 to 3 o'clock. The address for this home is 20146 Amethyst Drive in Goshen, Indiana. Very nice looking, uh, well manicured home, three bedroom, two full bath, one half bath with 1,700 square feet. Uh, Get out and see Chris Morrison today, one to three, if that's a home that interests you in the Goshen area. Also up in that area is 1105 East Country Lane in Shipshawana, hosted by the Canariki Group from 1 to 3. This home for 197000 has 1,500 square foot up and 1,400 down ranch uh, on a basement. Looks like it's on some land as well with a two-car attached garage, three bedrooms, three full baths. Built in 2004, so you know it's still in good shape. Go check out the Canariki Group and the spacious open concept ranch that's ready for you to move in. And that's it. 1105 East Country Lane in Shipshawana, Indiana from 1 to 3. Here's a nice affordable home in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, off Wheelock Road. It's actually located at 9813 Ballymore Drive. This is Andrea Patterson hosting this open house from 2 to 4 today. And it is a one-owner custom-build job through Granite Ridge Builders. It's a three-bedroom, two full bath, one half bath with just over 1,700 square feet. Very nice home, a very affordable home at 139.9. Uh, get, get out and check that out. I think you're definitely getting a lot of house for your for your dollar there go see andrea from two to four speaking of house for your dollar from one to four you can go check out 5403 west breeze trail in fort wayne that's the 46804 area code but for 129.9 you can get this ranch that's 1400 square feet but here's the kicker it's on a full unfinished basement so plenty of room to grow with your family so check out this home that's three bedrooms two and a half baths ranch on half acre with an unfinished basement for just 129.9 go see misty marquez from one to four at 5403 west breeze trail Next up, we have a house listed by Charla Charay, and she'll be there 1 to 3 today for this open house. I love this style of house. It's at 4721 Beaver Avenue in Fort Wayne. Absolutely beautiful old style home in a more historic part of Fort Wayne with uh, with those older character type homes. Uh, it's listed at 1069, three bedrooms, one full bath with just over 1,700 square feet. I love these types of homes. I'm a very character driven type of home. I don't like those new new builds nearly as much as something like this so if something charming and something with a great curb appeal and that historic look is something that interests you get out and see charlotte charay from one to three today uh, also for 1069 and a traditional looking home that's all brick is uh, 1115 South Main Street in Goshen. We have a new office in Goshen. Um, it's right there on the main drag. It's an awesome office. But go see Rihanna Murphy at uh, South Main Street for this traditional um, home that's three bedrooms and two full baths. Two full baths is rare um, on a home that uh, is, is not a brand new home. Uh, got a lot of character as well and 1,800 square feet. So a great deal for 1069. Nine up in Goshen, and that is from two to four. Now we're getting into some very affordable homes uh, that Deb Ramsey's putting on an open house from one to three today at 2005 Majestic Lane. This is near the intersection of State Street and Maple Crest, a uh, great part of Fort Wayne. Grew up there for many, many Me years. Too. So um, definitely get out and check out this ranch. It's listed at 87.9 with three bedrooms, one full bath, one half bath with over 1,300 square feet. Uh, again, that's one to three today at 2005 Majestic Lane, go see Deb Ramsey. If you're looking for something near Lower Huntington Road and Bluffton Road, there's an open house from 1 to 3 at 7322 Capri Drive in Fort Wayne, hosted by Maxine Martin and Ken Trulock. For only $79.9, you can get a home with a two car garage uh, that's three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and 1,400 square feet. What a great price! Also has central air, um, all the amenities you would need for only $79.9. So that's 7322 Capri Drive from 1 to 3. 
at 614 West Packard Avenue. Adam Springer's hoping this open house, 2 to 4. It is priced to sell. It is listed at 38850. So get out and check it out. It's a two bedroom, one full bath, 1,100 square feet, corner lot, fenced in backyard. Very affordable home. So get out and see Adam today from 2 to 4 at 614 West Packard Ave. What a charming home. Very nice. And there are plenty of charming homes available at movingindiana.com. Even if there's not an open house hosted on them, you can just request a showing right there on movingindiana.com. And our great agents at Codal Banker Roth, Riley Graber, would be happy to give you a private showing of any of those homes that are for sale because they can take you to see any of them. I'm Tony Didier, along with Sam Hartman from Coldwell Banker Roth, Riley Graber. And today, joining us on the show, we had Jeff Davis from Hallmark Home Mortgage, Kevin Hunter, president of Windows Doors and More, and Billy Foreman from Hoopy Insurance, all great professionals in the real estate industry. And that's the kind of expertise we're bringing to you every Sunday with plenty of interviews from people in the area. And uh, just listen to us every Sunday from 10 to 11 on 1190. Whoa, whoa, and now 92.3 FM. We'll see you next week.